Hallelujah. Greeting people of God, whenever you are watching today's broadcast, I want to speak about prayers that you can make as a Christian believer against Satan or the devil. I want to let you know that you have an enemy and the enemy is the devil. The enemy is Satan. Yes, you are enemy as a Christian believer and you need to deal with him in prayer. Jesus said, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Pray that you may not fall into the things of the world. People of God, Prayer rebukes the devil. Prayer makes the devil to leave your inner circle and even your outer circle in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Zechariah chapter number 3 verse number 2, And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee, is not this a broad bracket out of fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garment and stood before the angel. It is the biblical passage about how the enemy or the devil wanted to disgrace the servant of the Lord Joshua. But the angel of the Lord came and showed up and spoke to protect Joshua the high priest. He said, The Lord rebuke you, you Satan, enemy of people of God. Hallelujah. You can make a prayer and say, Lord Jesus, release your power. And I use that power to decree and to declare, Satan, the Lord rebuke you out of my life in Jesus' name. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter number 4, verse number 10, Jesus spoke and said, Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee and Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord thy God, and him only thou shalt serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. This is during the temptation of Jesus. And Jesus said unto the devil, Get thee and Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall you serve. The devil wants also to make human being worship him, and to make human being serve him. That's why you hear people talking about devil worship, evil cults. This is the devil trying to manipulate the minds of people. But we are making a prayer today. Any man or woman that has been captured, that have been forced to worship the devil, knowing or unknowing, we claim their freedom in the name of Jesus. Devil, come out of them in the name of Jesus. Men and women, be free from every cage of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Whether they entered there through evil persuasions in the area of money, in the area of fame, we claim their freedom in the name of Jesus. There are people that worship the devil just in order to get fame. They have entered into Ruminati. But we claim their freedom today in the name of Jesus. And if you are watching this broadcast and you have been held captive by evil cult, Illuminati, free mansion, or any demonic cult. Today is the day of your freedom in the name of Jesus. Be free. Whether you entered knowing or unknowing, I speak your freedom today in the name of Jesus. There are people that are watching this broadcast and you have your friends, your family members that entered into evil cult. They entered into free mansion. They entered into ruminati. They entered into the worship. And they are affecting the family. They want to give other family members a sacrifice. Today I pray for their freedom. Today I pray for their freedom. The blood of Jesus speaks better than the blood of Abel. 
I speak their freedom today. Devil roost them now in the name of Jesus. I claim them into salvation. I claim them to church in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in verse number 11 of Matthew 4, 11, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. When the devil leaves, all the angels come and minister unto thee. The Spirit of God is there. After your today's deliverance, after your deliverance prayer, angels of God will minister to you. The Spirit of God will bless you. Jesus will have a deeper encounter with you. In the name of Jesus. Get behind me, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Rook chapter number 4, verse number 8. La Babu Tede Kileba. Rook chapter number 4, verse number 8. The Bible says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall you serve. Get behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Out of my way, out of my family. Devil, I rebuke you out. Out of my family. Devil, I rebuke you out of my business, out of my marriage. Out of my relationship out of my children out of my career satan i rebuke you out i kick you out in the name of jesus remember you are releasing a command in the spirit hallelujah as i i am praying with you as i i am preaching this broadcast something is happening to set you free in the spirit of the devil that entered your house it is coming out by thunder by fire I release the fire of the Spirit of God in your house, in your bedroom, in your table room, in every room of your house, in your compound, on your rooftop, on your ceiling. I speak fire. Devil, come out of that house in the name of Jesus. Come out of that body in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Rook, chapter number 10, verse number 18. Remember after Jesus sent his disciples to preach the kingdom, to heal the sick and to cast out the devils, when they came, in verse number 18, he said unto them, Behold, Satan has lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means at you. Remember, you are covered by the blood of Jesus. You, are, you have a backup of the power of God. When he sent them, they rebuked the enemy. And this strong oath fell like lightning from above. You know, we have the first heaven and the second heaven. The enemy came down like a lightning. Today we are making a prayer in the name of Jesus. Satan fall down like lightning out of that strong oath of that family in the name of jesus we put you down like lightning in the name of jesus we pull you down by the speed of lightning in the name of jesus it is an order the bible continues to say behold i give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions these are representatives of the evil spirits and over all the power of the enemy Oh, the power of the enemy. Uh, Rook 10, 19. Oh, the power of the enemy. You have been given power to walk over it. To destroy the power of darkness. In the name of Jesus. People of God, power has been given. I have power as a servant of God. You as a Christian believer, as you are watching, power of Christ is coming down upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says in the book of Rook chapter number 13, verse number 16. And ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bowed, ro, these eighteen years be loosed from this boat on the Sabbath day. Hallelujah. 
this woman was captured by Satan for 18 years. The devil can hold somebody for 18 years, for 20 years, for 30 years, for 50 years, for many years. The devil can hold a family for 100 years. The devil that held your ancestor can try to attack you. That's why you need to make prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, I lose myself from every boot of Satan in the name of Jesus. I lose my family members from every bondage of Satan in the name of Jesus. I lose my career, my business, my job, my employment, my children from every bondage of Satan in the name of Jesus. Be free, be delivered in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter number 16 verse number 20, the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. I make a prayer today. Bruising is destroying. He is under my feet. I'm bruising him. I'm destroying him. I make a prayer today in the name of Jesus. Lord, bruise Satan under my feet in the name of Jesus. First Thessalonians chapter number 2 verse number 18. The Bible says, Therefore, we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder you, but today we are making a prayer in the name of Jesus. I bite and rebuke all hindering spirits of Satan in the name of Jesus. All hindering spirits of the devil that have hindered my career, that have hindered my progress, that have tied my prosperity, I bite them and cast them to the pit of darkness in the name of Jesus. I am free. I am delivered in the name of Jesus. Whatever is hindering you from marriage, whatever is hindering you from succeeding in life, be bowed and be cast into the sea of fire in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of the Saronia, uh, uh, Ephesians chapter number 4. Ephesians chapter number 4, verse number 27. Neither give place to the devil. Today I renounce all ungodly anger. I give no place to the devil in the name of Jesus. Remember anger, the spirit of anger, bitterness, is a door for Satan to enter and attack you. Today we make a prayer in the name of Jesus. We renounce all ungodly anger and bitterness. We give no place to the devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are suffering through the spirit of anger and bitterness, you will be delivered. You will be set free. The Bible says in the book of Luke 22, 31. Luke 22, verse number 31. Lebo koto zikaraba andaraba. Luke 22, verse number 31. The Bible says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, Behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may sift you like wheat. The devil wanted to destroy Simon Peter. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Satan wanted so much to capture the life of Simon Peter. He wanted so much to destroy the ministry of Simon Peter. The gifting of Simon Peter. But Jesus prayed for Simon Peter. Today I pray to overcome any shifting that Satan would try to bring into my life. Any shake-up. Any distraction. Any wickedness that the devil wants to bring to my life. I overcome it in the name of Jesus. 
I am a winner. I'm victorious in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of Living God. The Bible says in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter number 26, verse number 18. Acts chapter number 26, verse number 18. The Bible says, To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to the to right, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive the forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Remember, we are called to open the eyes of people that are in darkness to bring them to right. And them that are under the power of Satan, we are supposed to deliver them unto God. Today we make a prayer. I am delivered from the power of Satan unto God in the name of Jesus. I am delivered from the camp of the enemy and I am now into the kingdom of God. I am free in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of John 10:10, 10, 10, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and love it in abundance. I bind the thief from stealing, killing, or destroying in my life in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter number 2, verse number 13. Revelation chapter number 2, verse number 13. The Bible says, I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou oldest first my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days when Antiphas was my faithful Matthias, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. There are people that, where they live, Satan has put the seat there. But today we are making a prayer. Every seat of the devil, be destroyed and be pulled down into pieces in the name of Jesus. Lord, remove certain seed from my region, my city, my nation, my family, my work environment in the name of Jesus. Let the seed of Satan be removed from my location, from my country, my nation, my people in the name of Jesus. Satan's seat be removed from my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, my auntie, my uncle, and everybody that is connected with me. Make that prayer in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, chapter number 3, verse number 9. Behold, I will make them out of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jew and are not, but do I. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Them that are in the camp of the Satan, they will come to bow down and worship in the church of Christ. They will say that we have surrendered. We don't want to serve Satan anymore. We don't want to serve the worshiper anymore. We don't want to serve witchcraft anymore. We want to serve Jesus. I pray for your family member. I pray for the people in your region, people in your country, people in your city, them that serve the devil. We pray that they will surrender. They will come and bow down and say, we want your Jesus Christ. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter, Revelation chapter number 12, verse number 12. Revelation chapter number 12 verse number 12 Therefore rejoice you heavens and yet that dwelleth in them O unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath short time and when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth he persecuted the woman which brought forth and the man child I bind and rebuke all wrath of the devil directed against my life. Every wrath of the devil directed against your life, your business, your family. Be removed. Be rebuked in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of James chapter number 4 verse number 7. Resist the devil and you're free. Devil, I resist you. Free now in the name of Jesus. 
the Bible says in the book of First Peter chapter number five, verse number eight, that I am sober and vigilant against my adversary, the devil, in the name of Jesus. Viewer, before I end this prayer teaching, this school of prayer, I want to pray for your salvation, and I want you to be a powerful prayer warrior. Maybe you are born again, and you back, you are backslidden. I want to pray for you. You should not be a backslider. Maybe you have never received Jesus Christ as their personal savior. I want to pray for your salvation. Maybe you feel that you are, you, you, you in, deep inside your heart, you are not sure about your salvation. I want to pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, today forgive me my sin. I repent today. Forgive me, Jesus. Purify me. Make war again. Give me blessing. Give me favor. Give me victory. In the name of Jesus. I am free. I am delivered. From every bondage of the devil. In Jesus name. Devil. Come out of my family. Satan. Come out of my life. Come out of my relationship. Come out of my marriage. Come out of my family members. Come out of my blessing. In Jesus mighty name. I make a prayer. And believe. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you. You can come for deliverance here in Kenya at Jesus Freedom Time Church. We have deliverance services every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Call the number on the screen or write to me through the email on the screen and book for your appointment. And we shall pray for you for free in Jesus mighty name. Amen.